I fought the man. I fought the man for hours. It felt like my whole life. It felt like the ten years I'd been alive had been building up to this one triumphant battle. After talking to me and taunting me for a while, he just rolled off and walked away like dust in the wind. But much to my surprise, he wasn't done yet. He talked to me like he felt sorry for me, which I knew was a lie. I knew he wanted something out of me, but I wasn't sure what. He gave me something called a fame checker, where I could check on gossips and things of that sort. If I wanted to do that, I'd go watch E. And then within the blink of an eye, he was gone, leaving me in my own little world of misery and hate. <sighs> Life is stupid. I entered Route 24. The wind was blowing in my chubby cheeks, which would soon develop acne in a couple of years. I was just enjoying the beautiful cold air of the city when suddenly I realized that there were tons of trainers on this route, willing to battle me. I met one of those pathetic bud catchers again. He said this place was called the Nugget Bridge. It suddenly made me crave some McNuggets from McDonald's. Those things are so awesome. And so the battle went on for hours and hours. Okay, not really hours, I'm exaggerating, but you know, it makes it sound a lot cooler if I say it that way. It was another one of these pathetic bug catchers sending out their feeble little caterpies and metapod and whatnot, who don't know anything more than string shot and things to lower my defenses, which is rather weak because it doesn't really matter. It was a really lame battle, but at least it leveled my war to till up. And then came his Weedle. I was really sick of these really lame pathetic Pokemon. I was really hoping I could go down to the Mart and just pick up a thing of insect repellent just so I could easily get rid of these guys. And so I did that after this battle. I went down to the mart to try to get some insect repellent. I entered the mart, hoping I could find some insect repellent. I searched and searched and browsed through the aisles, but unfortunately they didn't have any. I tried looking for some sour cream and onion Pringles as well, but it looks like they didn't have any of those either. Perhaps maybe some Slim Jims, but, or maybe a good Slurpee. I talked to the owner for a little bit and he said they didn't have any. He also wondered why in the world I was monologuing. And then came the next battle, against Lass. Oh man, talk about a Georgia Peach. She is something else. Just the sound of her name would take a guy's breath away to the point to where it sounds like he's developed lung cancer because he's been smoking too many cigarettes since he was 12. Oh, Lass. I wanted her. And by the way she was eyeing me, something told me that she wanted me too. But I can't waste time with dames like her. I have a dream to fulfill. And just like that, as quickly as she got here, she was gone, never to be seen again. Until, of course, I fought one of her twins. Next up was Trainer 3, a youngster kid by the name of Timmy, who greatly resembled one of the village people. Wasn't much to him, not much to say, really. Next up was another lass. <laughs> she asked if I was getting tired. Yeah, I'm just warming up, sweetheart. Funny thing is, her name was Really, or Really, which was funny, because I really wanted her. I told her this joke, and she looked at me with disgust. She wasn't humored by my really terrible jokes that sounded like they were coming from a 90s sitcom. I finally got to the fifth trainer, a camp counselor by the name of Ethan. He said he would stomp me, but considering that he wore ballet shoes, I knew it probably wouldn't hurt that much. Those pathetic shoes couldn't even squash a roach. I finally got to the end where this mysterious guy gave me my prize for defeating all of these pathetic trainers. He gave me a nugget. I was hoping it would be one of the McDonald's chicken nuggets, but unfortunately it was just this thing that gives you money. I didn't care about money. I just wanted some really awesome chicken nuggets. I tried to walk away from the plot, but the guy insisted I enjoy this really stupid group called Team Rocket. It sounded lame, so I said no, but he insisted I join. I felt like I was in the middle of a really stupid after-school special. Rather than, I don't know, talk about it, we decided to have a Pokemon battle, because what better way to solve things, right? After that lame battle, he still insisted I join, but I didn't want to join a group of people who dress in black and do bad things and grab their crotch while battling for some reason. While debating on leaving this game, I went over to the bush and noticed something odd in the bushes. It was a very odd grass Pokemon by the name of Bellsprout, whose lips much resembled my ex-girlfriend's. Using my Poke skills, I managed to capture said Bellsprout and capture it inside of a Pokeball. 
I was just scurrying along when I suddenly noticed a TM called Attract. I was hoping I could use this against Lass. Entering Route 25, I fought a variety of mysterious colorful trainers. Well, not really colorful, because they're in black and white, but... I fought this guy named Hiker, who kind of resembled that guy from Dragon Ball Z. In this route, I had a strange revelation. I noticed that all these characters keep duplicating themselves. Hikers, village people, etc. It's too bad they didn't have more good-looking girls like this, because I would love for them to duplicate. I began to wonder whether or not I would run into another Ash, or perhaps more of the man. But I'm starting to think you can only have one the man. After fighting a picnicker, something very mysterious happened to my Pidgey. It was something I didn't understand at all. It began to illuminate and turn completely white. I thought maybe my Pidgey was a special Pidgey, perhaps the Messiah of all Pidgey. Then it suddenly realized it was just evolving into a Pidgeotto. Which didn't really evolve, it just kind of got taller and his hair was slick. I mean, if that's the case, I'll evolve when I'm 16. I entered this mysterious home because it's a video game and that's what you do, you trespass. I noticed a strange Pokemon, but the funny thing is he talked and said his name was Bill. I was skeptical and he insisted that he was not joshing me. I don't really know where this slang came from, I guess there's some guy out there named Josh who's known for punking people. Turns out he was a freak known for these crazy science experiments. He wanted me to separate his cells using his mysterious PC, which looked more like a microwave than a PC. Going up to this easy bake, I decided to perhaps help and separate his cells. I could have easily tricked this. So pushing F10 or something, I decided to separate his cells and teleport him. I didn't quite know what those two little games on the floor there. I guess they're some kind of board game or something. So then he came out and turned into some strange evil hippie dude. I decided to talk to him and see what was up. Yeehaw! Unfortunately, I guess it also turned him into a cowboy. Very fortunate for all of us, he kept the conversation brief. He told us he didn't really have any Pokemon, but he insisted on giving me this mysterious ticket, known as the SS Ticket. Why don't you go? I asked him. He would have gone, but he insisted he doesn't like parties because he's a sociopath. So without questioning him any further, I accepted his request and headed out the door before any kind of side plot developed. Finally, it was time to enter the Cerulean Gym. Teenage dames in bathing suits. Now this is what I was talking about. But much to my surprise, I didn't come across a girl in a bathing suit, but rather a skinny, gay-looking dude in underwear. Before fighting the head dame herself, I came across her friend, known as the Picnicker. I know Yogi Bear would have no problem stealing picnic baskets from her. Finally, it was time to fight the head dame herself, known as Misty. With some last name I don't know. She was a little bit older than I was, and she apparently specialized in water-type Pokemon. But not only water-type Pokemon, apparently she likes to have all-out offensive water-type Pokemon. Or if this means her Pokemon are going to be censored. Finally, the epic battle began with Misty. She was rather annoying, but I'd be lying if I said that that precious red hair of hers didn't give me chills. I wonder if she was the kind of chick I could actually bring on my journey with me. Perhaps if I came up with some creative way of getting her to tag along with me. Maybe I could destroy her bike and pretend that I needed it to get away from a bunch of Spearows. Then she would tag along with me and we would fight the entire time. It would be a whole opposites attract situation with dilemmas that make it where we end up having to try to get along, resolve our differences, and thus becoming good friends in the end, and perhaps even soulmates. The risk of doing this, however, would be that a third party member might join up, and he might be annoying, cook food for us all the time, but then try to pick up every girl that we meet. Yeah, I think I'll rather just go on my own. And so the battle began. It was a tough, nail-biting battle, with Pikachu versus Staryu, Electric versus Water, and- Hi! I am Dark-Minded Seth, and what- Wait a minute, something's different. Where's the man? We had just got done talking to the man, now he's- This isn't where we left off, what's- Ash? Were you playing the game ahead of me? Uh, no, no, of course not. Well, then where's the man? Uh, he, uh, he went to go get a cold one. Aw, oh, come on. 
Look, Ash, we're in this together. Come on, you can't fight without me. I mean, if you did the whole video without me, Ash, I mean, how stupid would it be? I mean, it'd be some kind of crazy 1930s monologue-looking thing. It'd be ridiculous. You got to have me in the video, Ash. All right, all right, sure. Okay, I'm gonna stop the game now, and next week, we fight. Okay, see you later. Bye. I met this guy. They said his name was Dark-Minded Sith. I heard all kind of freaky rumors about him, like he likes to sneak around Victoria's Secret and peek at look at girls. Normally they're underage. Ash! Knock it off. Alright, alright. <laughs>